Hello everyone and welcome to this Ascendex tutorial. In this video I will show you how to transfer your funds from Binance to Ascendex. The first thing you will need to do if you want to transfer your funds from Binance to Ascendex is to decide which coin you want to transfer. In my case I'll go with Algorand since Algorand is a really easy coin to transfer. And also the transfer fees are really low. Step 1 is to go over to Wallet and then click on Fight and Spot. You'll then be sent over to this page, and here you'll see your crypto balance. You'll then need to search for the coin you want to withdraw from Binance. Once you've found the coin you want to withdraw, go over to the action section, and then click on the withdraw button. Over on this page, you need to select the address you want to withdraw to. To find your address, you need to go over to Ascendex, and then go over to Wallet. Then click on Total Assets, and click on your cash account. Since the coin I'm withdrawing on Binance is Algorand, I'll need to search for Algo here and then click on the deposit button. If the coin you want to withdraw on Binance isn't available on the Sendex, you'll need to trade your coin into another coin that is available on the Sendex. As you can see, on this page I can see my deposit address. So I'll go ahead and click on the copy button. Once you have found the deposit address, go over to Binance again and then paste your address in. You'll now see that the withdrawal network has instantly been selected. If your withdrawal network isn't instantly selected, I recommend you do a quick Google search. Now the last thing you'll need to do is to fill in the amount of coins you want to withdraw. So in my case, I'll go ahead and type in 30. You'll then see the amount you'll receive over on Ascendex. In my case, it will be 29.99 Algorand, since the Algo network has a fee included of 0.01 Algorand. Now the next thing you'll need to do is to click on withdrawal. You'll then get this pop-up. Make sure to double check all the information and if the information is correct, click on continue. You'll then get the security verification. So I will need to fill in my email verification code and my phone verification code. So I'll click on get code and then fill in the codes. Once you have filled in everything you need to fill in, the last thing you need to do is to click on submit. You'll then see this pop-up saying withdrawal request submitted. And below that, you'll see the amount of cryptocurrencies that the receiver will get. The time you will have to wait on your transfer to come through depends on which coin you transferred. Right now, a few minutes have passed, and when I refresh this page, you'll see that my transfer has come through. And when I go back over to Binance, you will also see that my withdrawal has been completed. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.